There's paper on the bottom, food scraps, whatever you want. You set it up the same way, but this is... Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California. And of course, Kitty, she saw me grab the camera. Today I want to talk about mini totes. They're not totes. These are dish pans. I guess that's what you call them. They're containers for washing dishes in. These are so cheap. They're food grade, they're five. These are made by Sterlite. They come in both black and white. Do not ask me why, but the blacks are under $3. The whites are about five. I wanna grow in black anyways. You can get them in smaller sizes. This one is 18 quarts. Now 18 quarts, you know how big that is? It is almost as big as this five gallon bucket. These are four and a half gallons. So let me show you how easy it is to grow in this, and this is gonna be your next best friend. Because your totes, though that one's smaller, a lot of them are 18 gallons, and it's too heavy for some of you that may wanna move them around or have a balcony, a deck, a terrace, where you don't wanna grow in such big things. You don't need to grow in big things to get a lot. Okay, this is a failure, and we'll do another video on why another time. So we're not talking about that. Today we're gonna to talk about these dish pans. This has been fantastic. I set this up about a month ago and I've already got tomatoes growing. Tomatoes, can you imagine in something this small? And what is it on? This is on a TV table. Pick that up at the thrift store for a couple bucks. This is a wooden one and I found a piece of wood so I just put it on top, you didn't need it. And you're going, wait, wait a minute, this is a trash can. It is, it's catching water that's coming out of here and dripping there. So what do I do? Pick this up, rewater it. That's just one way of doing it. And I leave it there, I'll catch more. I've got parsley growing in here, tomatoes growing in here. Oh, I have another tomato plant I stuck in there. I don't know what that is. Kitty doesn't know either what it is. Something I put there that I was gonna remember what I put there. <sighs> remember the labels? Remember the labels I told you how to make out of tote lids? Make those labels, because I do this all the time, I'm gonna remember, and I have not remembered. And don't forget, silverware, you can get silverware, I get it at Walmart and get it any, anywhere. They sell four packs for a dollar. So I have spoons everywhere, it's perfect. And then of course I've got some pansies. This is what's growing in here. This can be picked up and moved, tipped if I needed to. I have been setting them up exactly like I set up my totes. There's leaves on the bottom, there's branches on the bottom, there's paper on the bottom, food scraps, whatever you want, you set it up the same way. But this is mini totes, mini storage containers. They're not storage containers. This is what I'm so jazzed about. You saw probably last year I set up a bunch of radishes. Well, I am now growing radishes in the same thing and I'm getting ready, I haven't done it yet, to set up some onions. This is just tool thrown over the top so nothing would get to my seedlings. I started these in a plastic bag. You know how I do the plastic bag? As Soon as I saw they were rooted, I had too many. I had to start going through here and start just pushing them in everywhere. And now I've got, well, let's get it off. Radishes starting. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? In a dish pan. Now this is a balcony. You can do this anywhere. They're so small. You put the holes wherever you feel you need it. You wanna put it on the bottom, put it on the bottom. If you wanna put it on the side, you can direct the water to drain out like I did there, and it can drip into something. It could drip into another planter. These have been fantastic. Ask Kitty, she knows. But this is what I wanted to share with you today. Now this stand, you can't buy that stand. Gary built it for me. I said, hey, can you build me a stand? And he went out there and he had some PVC pipes. I think it cost him about 10 bucks. I'm not sure, don't quote me. And if you want to know how he built it, you message me underneath and say, hey Gary, we wanna see a video. I think he did video it. We want to see the video how you put it together. He made it where I can put one on the bottom too. And because the pipes are there, see how it sits? The container now is not sitting flat on the wood, so nothing's gonna rot. So I can grow there. I can put a hole in this one, right in the center, so when I water this, it will drain straight in and water that one, and then I can have the water go off to the side and drain out that way. This is gonna be fantastic. So I wanted to share this with you because you can get dish pans. Now some of them are smaller, 
There are only 12 quarts, and I don't see why. If you didn't put as much in there, you don't have to pull, put a tomato plant. This is a patio tomato and a parsley and flowers and mystery seeds all in one container. You can have something else going. You can grow parsley, you can grow mint, you can grow flowers if you wanted to. You can grow a zucchini in there, provided you load the bottom up with leaves, like this is a purple tree colored. That becomes your plant food. You don't need fertilizer. It becomes your plant food. And then you can top it just with a little bit of potting soil right on the top. Now I ended up topping it with soil, but I tapped it from here because I'm gonna redo this one. I took everything out and look at all the stuff that I put on the bottom is all gone. So I'm using this, I'm gonna redo that one. Isn't that cool? So I don't need to use any potting soil. See, this is all what's left on this container and there's a big hole there. So I'm gonna put some cardboard or paper down on the bottom to cover the hole. In the meantime, let's see what that is. Oh, that's a piece of wire. So I'll just put that there right now and throw that away. Wait, I've got this container ready to go. All with soil that I created on my own. Just a few inches on the top, maybe two, three inches, and then you can go for it. You could take one of these bags. Now I got this at Aldi's. They had them on sale for like $5. But normally a bag like that now sells from $7 to $11. Depending on what you get, it could be $20. So you buy what you can afford or what you want to put out because as long as you put all those goodies on the bottom that your microbes and earthworms, especially the microbes, are going to start eating it away and your plants are just going to thrive off of it, you don't have to worry on how good the soil was on the top. You only have a couple inches. They're going to reach down their roots to the bottom. And remember I tell you, look around. Somebody may have a flower pot sitting on the ground. Neighbor, friend an apartment building that's got plants out front, lift up the pot and you will find underneath earthworms. And if you don't, but it's damp under there, take one of those spoons, you got a, at the thrift store some spoon, carry a little baggie, grab some of that damp soil that's underneath a flower pot. And I guarantee you there's gonna be earthworm eggs, if not earthworms in there, bring it home and put it in your container. And you are gonna be able to grow anything you want. You won't have to go buy any worms. So I hope I've given you another idea on how to grow in smaller containers. You just don't overpack them. I would never put two zucchini plants in one of these. I have pushed two zucchini plants in the other totes and it works. I have put tomatoes with celery, little tight, but it works in different plants. But when you're going with smaller, you're gonna have more room and you can spread them and set them up any way you want. You can even set that on top of a five gallon bucket if you wanted to. Have a hole in the middle, sitting on top of a five gallon bucket, it will drain into the bucket, the excess water. Then you can just pick it up when you want and get the water out. Or put a cup on the bottom to catch the water and then you can use that water to rewater your plants. You can put this on anything because they're fairly light. But keep in mind, it's deceiving. It looks so small, but it's actually really about the same size as a five gallon bucket. Right, Kitty? She knows it's the same size as a five gallon bucket. So I hope I've given you some ideas. And you know what? Let me tell you something, we'll get into it, but there's a lot of different tops that you can put on those. If you're growing lettuce and you don't want insects to come, we'll be making tops for that too. So with that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. Now this container is actually sitting on top of the tool. The tool was just draped over it. And then all I did was pull this forward and close pin this together. And that's what's held the tool for the past week and a half while my radishes were growing.